everyone, I'm Tammy, and today I wanted to teach you how to use BuzzSumo. It's one of my favorite tools that I use every day uh, when creating content, social media for clients, and you can use it too in your content marketing strategy. And the best thing is it's free. So before we start, I want to just tell you a little bit about why this platform works so well. Um, you know when you see those posts on Facebook that have like 100,000 shares, and you wonder, how did that post get shared so many times, and how do all these major brands know to share that post? Uh, well, the thinking is that if one person likes it, a lot of other people are probably going to like it, and their friends are going to like and share the post as well. So BuzzSumo, what it does is helps you to find those posts that are viral or that are about to go viral, so you can share them on your own platforms and cash in on that viral sharing action. So the first thing you want to do is point your browser to buzzsumo.com. This is the home page, and it's going to let you analyze content that performs best for any topic or competitor. And that's a really interesting feature because not only can you search for a great topic around your keyword, you can see what is working best for your competitors or for major leaders in your field. So let's start first with a keyword. Um, one of my clients is in the real estate world, so I'm going to play with that and pretend I'm looking for a post to share on their Facebook page today. I'm going to type in architecture into BuzzSumo. BuzzSumo is going to think about it and return to me a list of virally shared content about the topic of architecture. And you can see to the right here is the number of times that post has been shared on all kinds of social platforms. So we've got 16 pics of fairy tale architecture from Norway. That post has been shared on Facebook 287,000 times. So there's a good chance that if I share it on my client's Facebook page, people that are interested in architecture are going to share this thing as well. They're going to click on it um, because it's kind of that crowd mentality. Okay, so you can see this post is from July 16, 2015. It's a little old. So what I'm going to do is over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to filter by date. And I want to be a little more current, so I'm going to filter my results by the past month. And let's look at what we've got. This house costs just $20,000, but it's nicer than yours. I want to click on that and see what this $20,000 house looks like that's nicer than mine. Uh, yeah, that's like so click worthy. And you can see it's been shared on Facebook 114,000 times. So that's the perfect example of something I could then um, go grab this article and share it to my client's Facebook page. And you can bet we're going to get a bunch of likes and clicks on that post. Uh, if I'm looking for something for a different platform, let's say um, I want to share something on Twitter, certain content performs better on one channel over another. So I'm going to sort here by network. And you can see um, that same post also did well on Twitter with 1.5 thousand shares. Some other things I can search for are different types of content. So if I'm looking for something for Pinterest, for example, I might deselect articles, interviews, and videos and just filter by infographics. And I'm going to open it up to the past year to get more content to choose from here. Um, there you go, an infographic look at architecture. Let's see what that's about. Very cool. It's just a whole bunch of different visuals about the topic of architecture that I could then use on a more visual platform like Pinterest, for example. So going back to BuzzSumo, let, let me show you the competitor search option. So let's um, switch it up here. So one of my other clients is involved in um, the parenting e-commerce world. So I know that parenting.com is a huge site for parents and they get a ton of traffic. So I'm going to type in parenting.com and see what they've been sharing. Um, and I've got it set to infographics still, so I'm going to go back and add everything. Parenting.com, I'm going to set my filter to the last month. And here, BuzzSumo will show me only content specific to parenting.com that's been popular. 
So 10 parenting habits to develop before your child becomes a teen. Super interesting. It's been shared 6,000 times, uh, and that's another great piece of content I can then share on my own channels. So that's it. That's the gist of it. And there are tons of other features of BuzzSumo as well. Some are free, some are paid. Um, I just use the free version and it works great, but you can click around and see what else it has to offer. I love the tool and I hope you will love using it too.